Welcome to our exploration of Morana, the Slavic goddess of winter and death. We'll examine her myths, rituals, and enduring influence on Slavic culture and beyond. Let's begin by delving into Morana's role in the Slavic agricultural calendar and her significance in the cycle of seasons. Morana, goddess of winter and death, governs the cycle of seasons in Slavic mythology. Her influence extends throughout the agricultural year, from the end of harvest through the fallow period crucial for soil regeneration. Spring rituals involving the burning of her straw effigies symbolize the banishment of winter and the welcoming of renewal. This practice reflects the Slavic belief in the interconnectedness of life, death, and rebirth. Marana's cyclical nature underpins her complex identity, which evolves with the changing seasons, embodying the concept of transformation in Slavic cosmology. This transformation is mirrored in agricultural practices, where fields lie dormant in winter before bursting with new life in spring. The significance of these rituals is evident in their persistence across various Slavic regions, from the Balkans to Eastern Europe. As we explore Marana's changing identity throughout the year, we'll see how her transformations reflect the natural world and Slavic cultural beliefs. As the seasons change, so does Marana's identity. In spring, she manifests as a radiant maiden, symbolizing new life and growth. With winter's approach, she transforms into a haggard crone, embodying nature's dormancy. This powerful deity presides over the year's end, preparing for the cycle of renewal. Her role encompasses the entire life-death cycle, reflecting the deep interconnectedness of seasonal changes and cosmic order in Slavic mythology. This concept permeates various aspects of Slavic culture, from agricultural practices to folklore and artistic expressions. Across different Slavic regions, festivals and traditions mark the changing seasons and Marana's transformations. These practices showcase the widespread influence of Marana's mythology and its adaptability to local customs. The story of Marana and Jarilo further illustrates the goddess's role in the cyclical nature of life and death, providing a foundation for understanding Slavic cosmology. The tale of Marana and Jarilo exemplifies the Slavic understanding of life and nature's cycles. Each spring, Jarilo, the sun god, weds Marana in a celebration of fertility and new beginnings. Their union, representing the fertile season, ends with Jarilo's death, transforming Marana from radiant bride to grieving widow. This transition mirrors the harvest's end and winter's approach. The eternal cycle of marriage, death, and rebirth reflects agricultural rhythms and the interconnectedness of life and death in Slavic belief. This myth serves as a foundational narrative explaining not only seasonal changes, but also the deeper cosmic order that governs Slavic understanding of existence. In many Slavic communities, this cycle is reenacted through seasonal festivals, demonstrating the myth's adaptability across different cultures. As we'll see, the dramatic fate of Marana's effigy at winter's end further emphasizes the importance of these cyclical transitions in Slavic culture. The end of winter is marked by the dramatic fate of Marana's effigy, signifying a crucial transition in the Slavic calendar. The dual destruction by fire and water symbolizes winter's complete eradication, with fire purifying and water bringing rebirth. This ritual varies across Slavic regions, uniting communities in the crafting and destruction of the effigy. In Czech villages, elaborately dressed Marana effigies are paraded through towns with singing and dancing before being ceremoniously burned and thrown into rivers. These shared acts strengthen cultural bonds, marking the transition from winter to spring while reinforcing social cohesion and collective identity among diverse Slavic peoples. The variations in these rituals across different regions highlight the adaptability of Marana's mythology to local customs and traditions. This adaptability has allowed Marana's influence to persist in modern Slavic culture, taking on new forms while preserving its core symbolism. Marana's influence persists in modern Slavic culture, adapting to contemporary contexts while preserving its core symbolism. The Marzana festival in Poland exemplifies this continuity with communities creating and drowning effigies of Marana. 
In contemporary Slavic literature, authors draw inspiration from Marana's mythology, exploring themes of transformation and renewal. Visual artists have reimagined Marana in their works, depicting the transition from winter to spring. In modern Slavic music, folk bands often incorporate themes related to Marana in their lyrics and performances, blending ancient traditions with contemporary musical styles. These artistic expressions demonstrate the goddess's enduring relevance in modern cultural contexts. By comparing Marana to other mythological figures, we can better understand her unique attributes and the universal themes she embodies. Comparing Marana to other mythological figures reveals universal themes in death goddess narratives while highlighting her unique Slavic attributes. Persephone, the Greek goddess of spring and queen of the underworld, shares Marana's cyclical nature, but Marana's transformation is more closely tied to natural seasonal progression. Norse Hel and Aztec Mikta Kaktihuatl also govern death in the afterlife, but lack Marana's direct connection to agricultural cycles. Marana's distinct role in seasonal rituals and her influence on daily life is more deeply integrated into Slavic society. This integration reflects the specific cultural values of Slavic mythology, emphasizing the harmonious relationship between human life and natural cycles. The persistence of Marana-related traditions in modern Slavic cultures demonstrates the enduring significance of her story and the values it represents. Marana embodies nature's eternal cycle, representing harsh winters yielding to spring's renewal. Her story mirrors agricultural rhythms and human existence, offering a framework for understanding life's transitions. This cyclical nature resonates deeply in Slavic culture and finds echoes in global mythologies. Marana's enduring significance lies in her representation of life's seasonal changes, endings, and new beginnings. She provides a cultural touchstone that continues to inspire and inform Slavic identity and artistic expression. From traditional rituals to contemporary art and literature, Marana's influence persists, demonstrating the adaptability of ancient mythological concepts in modern cultural contexts across the diverse Slavic world. The continued relevance of Marana in Slavic societies underscores the importance of maintaining connections to cultural roots while adapting to the changing world, a balance that many Slavic communities continue to navigate in their celebrations and artistic expressions.